Alright guys, so today we are going to talk synergies in Hockey Ultimate Team. I am not going to lie, for the past few years I've been super skeptical that synergies even do anything, and there hasn't been a real way to test synergies, like hard concrete evidence as to if they even work. So in NHL 20, uh, I don't believe it's happened in any other games, there is a threshold in which you can sauce the puck, your AI, or just whenever you tap, sorry, when you tap a pass, okay, just a normal one, not a sauce, it will actually sauce if it is, um, you know, kind of uh, noticing a threat to intercept, that kind of thing, and you'll see that a lot uh, where players will make these insane saucer passes just, just out of your reach throughout this year, and it is uh, directly um, pertaining to the player that you're using's passer rating. And our boy in the community, Nuge TV, one of the biggest streamers in NHL uh, for the past few years, he has allowed me to kind of show you guys the work that he did on his stream a few weeks ago. And I think that it's really important that anyone who maybe hasn't, you know, caught Twitch or seen that stream uh, in terms of what actually happened in that, because it did prove that synergies, at least this one, do work. And I'm not going to lie, I didn't really believe in synergies all that much just because you don't see the stat change. And for me, I just need to see it first. But uh, yeah, let's get into the results from my boy, Nuge TV. So first things first, we have to show where this started, okay? So Wizia on Twitter uh, tweeted at Ben Ross. If you don't know who Ben Ross is, he is the uh, gameplay developer for EA NHL. And he did, Nuge noticed that he said 92 passing in EA SHL is the threshold at which you need to hit before you'll actually start auto-saucing if there is a threat or danger of intercept, obviously making it 10 times more effective if you do not auto or manual sauce the puck. Uh, so obviously having 92 two in sixes is extremely effective now what nuge did when he saw this was let's test out synergies because there's an easy way to prove if synergies put you over a certain rating then in theory you would still be able to auto suss up the board so the first thing he did was he started at 92 passing and then worked his way back to see in practice mode in versus if there is a threshold at which you need to hit before you just won't sauce the puck anymore. All right, so what Nuge did was he went into practice mode in a two-on-one scenario to see if he could get the auto sauce to trigger, and he was able to. Posternox got 93 passing, and he was saucing it easily, not hitting the manual sauce button R1. He was hitting R2 the entire time. And as you can see here, it was working just fine. Again, that was with 93 passing. So he had his kind of base of where to start. So then what he did to keep the test, you know, kind of accurate, he tried to put coil on the other side. And lo and behold, he was able to auto sauce as well. And when he did it back and forth between him and Pasternak, he did notice that it's not nearly as common, but still... It was able to auto sauce between uh, two players and a defender. Now, Charlie Coyle only has 84 passing in this scenario. So now, obviously, we can count back even further, where 93 obviously worked very, you know, very often in terms of Pasternak, whereas now 84 is still being proven to actually sauce the puck when just tapping R2. So then he took it one further. He went and tested Carson Kuhlman. Now, Carson Kuhlman only has 79 passing so obviously that's a dramatic drop and in hockey ultimate team 79 is really rough but he went and tested to see if the 79 Carson Kuhlman could actually do a man or an auto sauce pass and what ended up happening was well he wasn't able to at all in about 30 attempts here he isn't able to get an auto sauce to actually happen between Kuhlman and Pasternak and as you can see here Pasternak is able to pretty easily. So now we kind of have a baseline where 84 with Charlie Coyle worked fine. 79 with Carson Kuhlman did not. So again, we're getting kind of closer. We have to find the one where it is able to. So then he adjusted to an 80 overall passer rating. So then he went to the Detroit Red Wings and found a passing rating of 80 to see if 80 would work as 79 clearly wouldn't with Carson Kuhlman. So he grabbed Alex Biega who had 80 overall. So he's got 80 overall passing rating in Alex Biega and sure enough early on he's able to auto sauce the puck no problem. Again this is just tapping R2 not R1. So now Nuge has his baseline to test what rating we could use because 79 would not work. 80 would so now all he's got to do is go into hut find someone with under 80 overall passing rating use the synergy to activate it to get higher 
and then see if it'll work in a game. So that's exactly what he does. So what he does is he goes and grabs a few cards from the auction house that have under 80 overall passing rating. So one right here being Jack Finley. And then he makes sure that he's got a few synergies that will bump his passing rating up over 80. So again, now we've got our baseline. We know 79 did not work. He gets a few cards that have under 80 overall passing rating. And then he's got the synergies required to bump that up a little bit higher over 80. All right, guys. So he's got a bunch of cards that have under 79 passer rating to start. And then he has a bunch of synergies again that will bump it up over the 79 threshold that he found in a shootout. And just look at this. McMichael sauces that over. And there we've got it. Finally having proof that synergies do actually work and they are something. So, I mean, I guess a lot of people probably already thought that they did. Obviously, uh, with speed synergies like SP, they always say obviously feel a little bit better, but there's no way to actually prove it. Now, Nuge, thanks to Nuge, you are we are 100% able to prove that synergies actually do something. And uh, yeah, I thought I would just put this video together for you guys to see for anyone that didn't see it on his uh, on his Twitch channel. But again, I want to thank Nuge for allowing me to use you know his stream to show you guys that synergies actually do work and uh yeah make sure you go follow him uh nuge tv on twitch the links will be down below if you haven't already or if you live under a rock but again guys thank you for watching and i'll see you guys next time